there is only one perfect solution, but there are clues that will try to trick our team. Hello there everyone, my name is Crazy Caleb, and today we're going to take a look at Twister. So this is the way the module looks, it's currently, as you would expect, uh, from the original game of Twister. Now, if it, if it comes between playing the actual game of Twister and playing this on the bomb, I would take the bomb any day. As much as I can run several different miles uh, in cross distance and then cross country, uh, I would pass on trying to stretch my body out into uh, positions that I never thought I could do. So, let's take a look at what this module wants us to do. I'd rather a computer be playing Twister than I be playing Twister. So this module is a boss module, and what's going to be happening is, is that I'm going to start solving a bunch of different uh, tool mods here, but the catch with this one is a little bit different, as, for example, you can sort of cash things in in the bank with this boss. You can essentially hold um, some stages for for a queue, for example. It will, st it will not strike you if you happen to skip over a solve uh, or skip over a spin that it wants you to do. So what we're essentially going to be doing is we're going to be moving around through a series of two different players who are going to be playing uh, Twister. So that's what we're going to be doing here. And uh, one thing to note that there are that there will be like figuratively impossible positions um, in this module. So do not worry about it. The computer is the computer. We are not what they are. So, um, so what's going to happen is is that we're going to essentially be solving a different series of stages. So for example, we're going to note down that this is going to be yellow foot. For example, so yellow foot is going to be for the first player um, because of the fact that we have a couple of different rules that we need to go over. So, the spinner can be spawned at any time until there is no more spins left in the queue. Uh, the queue is going to be shown in green lights along the top, and it's going to be all in binary. So, it is advised that you make sure that you know how binary works, or just perhaps know what stage you're on, uh, for example, so that you can keep track of this. So, um, the spinner can be spawned at any time until there's no more spins left in the queue. The queue does not need to be empty before the next solve. That's the nice thing about this boss, is because of the fact that it can take a little bit for the spin, uh, and sometimes you want to get stuff going, for example. That's going to be essentially the nice thing about this boss, is the fact that you don't get a strike uh, for not spinning at every single stage. You can essentially save it all for the end, though I would advise against that, quite frankly. So, spins are going to land on a hand or a foot on the left, uh, on, the, on the left indicate a left hand or left foot, and the right indicate a right hand or right foot, for example. That makes sense. Um, as you can see by these icons here, left hand, right hand, left foot, right foot. Uh, so now, on an even stage, including the initial display, so on stage zero, for example, uh, on an, uh, it, th this is going to be referring to the first player. They must plan a hand. Uh, they must place a hand or foot on a dot. So in this case, for the first stage, we're going to be taking a look at the uh, yellow, uh, the yellow right foot, for the first player. But in this case, I'm going to mark the first player as pink and the second player as purple. Just, that's the way that that works, I believe, and. What we're going to do is we're going to place the right foot on yellow. However, here's where the catch comes into play here. And obviously with odd stages, the second player must plan to place a hand or foot on the dot. So it's going to be going back and forth. So 0, 1, 2, 3. In this case, it's going to be 1, 2, 1, 2. That's the way that that works. So here's where the catch comes into play. After every spin for the first player, we're going to take the highest up unoccupied dot and move downward as many times as the third character of the serial number, skipping over any occupied dots, and wrap it around to the top if necessary. So in this case, we have six different dots for each individual color. In this case, each of them are in a line. So we're gonna start at the yellow, in this case, the first unoccupied dot, and all we need from this information of edge work is gonna be the third and the uh, sixth character, which is gonna be one and nine respectively. So now with this information, uh, since this is the first player, um, the first player is going to be moving down towards the, as many times as the third character in the serial number, in this case, which is a 1. So we're going to start at the top, in this case being the yellow foot, and we're going to move down 1 yellow, and this is where we're going to put our right foot for this position here. Now, likewise with the second player, we're going to take up the highest uh, the highest unoccupied dot and move downwards an, uh, as many times as the sixth character in the serial number. So we're going to be moving down at nine times, which is not the nicest number to get. Skipping over any unoccupied dots, wrapping around to the top if necessary. This is what you're going to be doing each, each individual time, making sure that you keep track of what happens in, in between um, uh, where you're currently at. So let's get rid of this yellow since we're done at the first move. That was the first move right there. And note that when you get to the top, 
you start from this position and then count. So this counts as this like starts as a uh, zero, for example, because you're going to move you're going to be moving downward that many times. You're not skipping, but you're moving downward from that position. So keep that in mind that this is how this works. So let's take a look at another example here. So now, as we can see, the green up here lights up as uh, this green up here uh, is what's in the queue, which in this case represents a binary version of one. And in this case, yellow represents the current stage that we're on. So now this is going to be stage one for us. So stage one is going to be uh, the left foot on yellow, which in this case is going to correspond to you. So left foot on yellow is going to be for uh, yellow here. And we're now we're going to be moving down. We're going to start at the top here. We're going to move down nine times, since this is an odd stage, for the second player. And we're going to skip over any occupied dots. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is where we end up right here. So now let's just start solving some things. And as you can see, two and then three. And as you can see, this complete this is uh, continuing to increase. Let's spin it once more. Uh, and this is and these uh, the queue is gone. The stage increases based off of whenever we hit the spinner. Uh, so now we're going to take a look at blue hand for the first player. So this is going to be on the left hand. Uh, blue hand is starting from the top. We're going to move downward one time. This is going to be right here. Just like that. So now. If the spanner lands on a, a hand or foot that is already on the mat, remove that hand or foot first, then calculate its new position. That's going to be how this works. So, for example, if we needed to jump over one of our previous foots, uh, if this was the exact same foot that we're working with, we need to get rid of that. That's going to be what we're going to do here. So, after all spins have been complete, the mat will appear, and we're going to place all hands uh, and feet in the correct positions on the mat. And the first player is indicated by a pink color, and the second player is indicated by a purple color. Keep that in mind. So... Let's keep going and let's keep moving through this thing. So let's get to the next spin. This is going to be stage three. So we're going to take a look at the uh, purple player here. So purple wants me to do a uh, right foot, and this is going to be on red. So right foot on red, we're going to count down nine times since this is the second player. Um, so we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right there. That's that move complete. Let's just start solving some other stuff. Let's hit the spinner. This is currently going to be for the pink player. Pink player wants me to do a blue a blue right hand, uh, a blue right hand. So we're going to count down one. Now uh, we already happen to have this um, the Charlie two occupied by a pink hand. So we're just simply going to move down one space that is not including an uh, unoccupied spot, which in this case is going to be right here, moving down one space starting from the top. So let's keep going. Next up, we're taking a look at the purple player. Uh, this is going to be the green, uh, this is going to be right foot on green, so right foot on green, so we're going to get rid of you, and we're going to move green, uh, right foot on green here, so let's take a look, so we have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, and just like that, we're right there. Okay, so let's keep looking, and I'm actually going to start just solving everything, and just keep keeping track of it like that. This, in this case, this is tool mods. Normally, I wouldn't do this with a on a normal uh, challenge bomb, I'd say. But for example, uh, but this for the sake of getting through this stuff a little bit faster, I'm just simply going to start solving everything right here. So let's keep doing that, and remember that we just recently placed purple. So the next move is going to be a um, the next move is going to be a uh, on the pink side. So now we have all this stuff in binary, which is currently 8 plus 2 plus 1, which is going to be in 11. We have a series of 11 different spins that we have to go through. Rather quite a lovely time. And we're going to be taking a look at the left side for this first one. Left side for this first one wants me to take a look at um, right foot uh, on green. So right foot on green, we're going to remove you. And we're going to be moving down one space to right here from that position. So not including all the unoccupied positions, just like that. That's good to go. Next spin. We're going to take a look at purple. Uh, purple wants me to move right foot to yellow here. So right foot to yellow. So now we're going to count down nine times starting from the top. So let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Down to right there. Because we're skipping over that occupied dot because that has the foot on it. Next up. That's it. So we have... Uh, all right. So left hand is going to be going to red. Left hand is going to go to red. So we're going to move the left hand out of that position, and we're going to do red. We're going to start from the top, count down one, and just like that, that's good to go. Next spin. Over to the purple line. 
Hopefully we can get these other two purple hands placed. Uh, so purple uh, purple hand is going to be a uh, on the blue. So right hand, uh, or excuse me, uh, yeah, right hand is going to be on the um, blue. So let's count down that many times. So starting from the top, we need to count down nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. This is actually kind of plausible so far. However, this most certainly is not. That does not make any sense whatsoever. So next up, we're taking a look at pink. Next uh, spin going for us. Let's see what we have here. Maybe get that left foot in play. Nope, it's not going to be this time around. And now we're going to be taking a look at the uh, right hand again. Uh, right hand going to be the um, going to be moving over to green in this case. So we're going to be moving over to green, moving down one time, which in this case is going to take me right over there. So, next up is going to be the purple move. Purple. Let's take a look at what we have here. Uh, purple wants me to move the right hand to blue. So right hand to blue, which I believe is going to be just the exact same position as before. Or not quite. No, no, no. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so right there. Next up, next spin, going back over to pink. And this is essentially what you're going to be doing for the entire mod. Is you're going to just be essentially trying to figure out where each of these placements are going. Uh, and now we can finally get this uh, left foot in play, and it's going to be going to red. So left foot starting from the top, going to red, is going to be doing a 1 right there. Just like that. Last one of the stages. This is going to be left foot uh, for the purple, and it's going to be going towards yellow. So let's move U, and let's count down 9. In this case, it's being 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, which happens to be the exact same position. Great. Nothing changed. Right. Next up for the pink, in this case, is going to be a uh, red. Uh, it's going to be on the right hand side. Uh, it's going to be going to red. So, right hand to red. Now, in this case, uh, taking a look at the delta column, which in this case is red. We're going to count down one time, which is going to take me down to delta four. Bit of an interesting case because these guys are occupied, uh, and now at this point you have pretty much defied your uh, your bones at this point. Pink player, uh, which I'm not going to question. I'm just simply going to look at purple. Uh, taking a look at the left foot, that's going to be on yellow. Left foot on yellow which I believe is actually just going to be the same thing again, because that's the exact same thing we got beforehand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. And then finally, for our last spin, we're going to have the pink hand. The pink do what? The pink is going to have the right hand go to red, which in this case is the exact same position that we had beforehand, starting from the red at the top here, counting down one to right there. And now we have done all of our moves. We did not have our purple hand be placed at all, which simply means we're going to simply ignore the submission. And when all the moves are done, we're simply going to press the uh, the display here, and we're going to essentially start submitting things in. So, we have, uh, for the pink hand, we have the left hand is over at delta 2. The right hand, uh, in this case, is going to be over at delta 4. The foot, uh, the right foot is going to be at uh, alpha 2, which in this case is green. And the left foot is going to be at the delta 3, right here. Now... Well, how exactly do we submit? How, we do, how exactly do we change colors? All we simply need to do is we need to press this display to change the color of each of the foots for the players. So the left foot is going to be going into Bravo 6, the bottom position here. The right foot is going to be going to Bravo 5, right here. And finally, the right hand, make sure it's the right hand, the thumb is on the left. And this is going to be going into the Charlie 4 blue. Hit the twister. And just like that is a solved module. This is what we're going to be doing and this is how this module works. Now, let's hopefully go over one more example. I would prefer a not one or nine in this case. I'd maybe prefer a three or four or five, somewhere between those lines. But let's go over one more example. Uh, I will do a bit of a smaller bomb um, in this case, but that's gonna be how we're gonna keep track of this thing. Now, of course, you can change the stages. I'm not sure how this really affects it much at all. It doesn't really seem to be affected at all. It's just to help you keep track of which stage you're currently on um, as a way of just making sure that you keep track of what we do, what you've done. It's definitely going to be helpful, uh, though. Keep in mind that this is not going to be um, this is uh, this. I don't I don't generally use the stages at all because uh, I just kind of forget about it that it's there. But it's a little way to help you keep track. Of it. Let's do a smaller bomb. Let's do perhaps a ten tool mods, and let's see what we can get. 
Now, zero is obviously the best case. The best case is that's going to be the best case around because of the fact that it simply is just placed at the top and that there is something already at the top, it's simply the next one down. It's pretty sure. So, let's see what we have here. So our third and sixth are going to be a nine and a four. Okay, this is semi-reasonable. I'll take the nine and a four over a nine and a one. So, our first player is always going to be the pink. So the pink wants us to move to green right, our right foot on green. And we're going to be moving down nine times because we're the, uh, the nine is the third character in the serial number. And the four is the six, which is representing the second player. So let's take a look. So the right foot is going to be going into green. We need to start from the top and count down nine different times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right there. So now let's just start solving things. Let's do you, let's do you, let's do you. So we can get all four spins queued up. Let's do that, let's do that, let's do that. And now we're currently on the odd position. So odd position right here. We have all of our stuff in queue, that's lovely. Stage one, spinning the spinner. Wants me to put it on, wants me to put the left foot, left foot in this case, on uh, yellow here. And we're gonna start from the top and count down four different times. So let's do one, two, three, and four. So right there. And that's going to be the stage. Next up, uh, for player one, player one is going to be doing uh, right foot on red. Right foot on red. So let's move. Let's get removed this guy. And let's do a starting from the top, counting down nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Just like that. Next stage, uh, purple. Purple wants me to do what? So this move is going to be the right foot on green. We haven't placed the right foot yet, so we're going to be placing the right foot on green. We're going to count down, we're going to count down four different times, which would be one, two, three, and four, to right there. Next up, uh, for the pink one, we're going to be taking a look at what? One of the hands. It's going to be right hand on green. So we'll do right hand on green. We're going to count down nine different times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's going to be right over there. Next up, uh, purple is going to be doing what? It's going to be a left hand green for purple. Left hand green for purple, which is going to be counting down four times. So one, two, three, wrapping up back to the top, four, right there. Because we already have those two spaces at the bottom already occupied. So now for pink, it's going to be a left hand red. Left hand red, we have not placed that one yet. So we're going to count from the top, one, two, skipping over the foot, three, four. Just like that, that's good to go. Next up, uh, for the pink, uh, for the purple matter, what are we going to do? Uh, that's going to be a right hand blue, right hand blue. And then we're going to count down four times, one, two, three, four, right there. And that's going to be the entire move right there. Next up, for the pink, let's see what we do. Uh, and we're going to be taking a look at the left hand being on blue. So left hand being on blue, so we're going to remove the left hand from where it's currently at, and we're going to place it on blue. We're going to count down nine different times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Down right there. And just like that, that's good to go. So now, taking a look at our next move here. Uh, purple wants me to do what? Right hand on blue. So right hand on blue. This is going to be removing you. Uh, and this is actually going to be the exact same spot, I believe, because we're going to count down four times. One, two, three, and four. Nothing was occupied in our way beforehand. That's good to go. And then finally, for pink, for our last move here, what does it want me to do? It wants me to do a right foot on blue. Right foot on blue. Uh, right foot on blue is going to be moving us from this position over to blue. So we're going to count down nine different times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine to charlie two and as you can see we don't have the left foot on for pink player uh which simply means that when we go into the submission we simply don't need to put that on as you saw what i did beforehand uh there was one of the positions that i missed um just because it wasn't present on the actual board we're only going to do stuff that's present on the actual board and anything that doesn't actually make it on there for some reason uh we just simply are going to ignore that's all we're going to do so now uh, let's take a look. So we're going to do the left hand for pink is going to be down at Charlie six on the blue hand. Uh, then we have, um, the pink right hand is going to be at alpha six. Then the right foot is going to be at Charlie two. And then that's it for pink player. 
Now moving over for um, for purple, we're going to be doing right foot on uh, alpha five here, uh, left foot at uh, uh, bravo five right here. Then the hands are going to be right hand on uh, charlie five, and then the other hand, left hand, is going to be alpha one. Everything is in its correct position. We're going to hit twister, and just like that is a solved module. As always, thank you guys for watching. Remember to stay crazy, stay cool, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.